All right. How many of you feel like you could use a little boost in energy? Right? Pretty much everybody. Uh, I, I felt this even today. Felt like I could use a little boost in energy. So I'm going to give you some three really great, easy to apply tips. Um, things that you can do today, this week, tomorrow to really help boost your energy because when we're stressed, when our hormones shift and change, it is so easy to get your energy zapped. So I would love to hear from you guys. Um, just put ahead right in the comments a comment um, if you've been feeling kind of low on energy or um, you know needing things to turn around, something like that. I would love to know. I do read the comments, so go ahead and comment. Um, the first one here when we talk about boosting energy... One of my favorite things, oh, um, I'm Dr. Beth Bussey, uh, women's health and hormone expert. And so, um, hi, Christy, really low energy, yes. Well, my first thing that I talk about to increase energy is, of course, getting enough protein. Most of the time, we're not getting enough protein. We're not getting enough protein in to really sustain our system, um, give our cells enough you know, fuel for what they need to do throughout the day. We're eating healthy and clean, but not getting enough protein in. So quick way to get some protein in. This is actually one of my favorite protein bars, um, Rar Bar. They are delicious. They are organic. They're plant-based. This is my favorite flavor, cookie dough. My favorite thing to do with this one is I actually put peanut butter on it. Double boost with the protein. It's delicious and amazing and so, so easy to get in any time on the go. Or sometimes if I'm eating a quick lunch or if I feel like, oh, I'm going out to eat and I'm not sure that there's enough protein in the meal that I'm having or if I'm having a meal with somebody else, I will grab one of these and stash it and have it just to make sure I'm getting my protein levels. So um, I do talk more about protein and give specific recommendations for protein for you. If you are in uh, the next group that I have going, let me put a comment here. Uh, the Female Hormone Solution Program. So I'm going to put this in the comments so you can get on the wait list. Um, we only take so many people in this program, so you have to be on the wait list to get in. Um, but this is what we do. We make sure we customize everything to you so you're getting the right recommendations protein-wise, carb-wise, fat-wise, all your macros, uh, micronutrients, supplements, things like that. So... Getting enough protein in is going to be the number one thing to do. Second thing is to get um, vitamins and supplements in. Now, as much as it's helpful to get whole food for everything, it's not realistic to be able to do this if you have a busy schedule, you have a lot going on, um, sometimes you're on the go and you're like, gosh, I just don't feel like I'm getting the right nutrients in. So that's where getting enough vitamins and stuff can be really, really helpful. So we have one of my examples. So I do make custom, and rec rec custom recommendations. I'm talking too fast. Um, and again, get on the wait list in the comments there. But this is a B vitamin complex um, that I really, really like. This is easy, but there's a lot of energy in B vitamins. And there's so many women who are deficient in B vitamins, especially if you're under stress. Stress on your body, it's sort of like it leeches all of these B vitamins from your system. So having some good B vitamins is really, really helpful. Sometimes uh, I get people started on a, B vi a good B vitamin and they're like, is this magic? Is this like energy in a bottle? I'm like, no, it's just that you were deficient before and now you're getting enough. So there you go. So there's that one. My other favorite one <clears throat> is this. This is called MetaboBoost. This is my tincture that I spe specifically created for the female body. Um, this actually will boost your energy as well. So for this tincture, taking this um, morning and midday is excellent to help boost your energy, especially if you're in an afternoon slump. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the last one here, which is going to sound kind of funny, kind of funny, but it's actually getting more rest times. What does that mean? How can getting more rest actually boost my energy? Well, this is not necessarily just sleeping at night. But say you have been really stressed, exhausted, felt like you've been just taxed to the max, and you're not sure what to do um, to help start increasing your energy, and you're like, I have so much to do. I have so many things to do. I'm completely overwhelmed. I, I have to do all this laundry. I have dishes. I have to get these things ready. I have work stuff to do. Ah, where do I start? What do I do? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Get started on something, and it's okay to take a rest. Where we fall short and where we make ourselves even more exhausted is going from thing to thing to thing. 
I got to do the laundry and then I got to do this and then I got to run around. I got to do these things. Do something and then take a break. Sit down for a minute. Just having even five minutes of rest time on the couch where you're doing some deep breathing or something can actually rejuvenate your system better so that you can go back to that huge list of tasks that you have to do. So don't make yourself feel like you have to run yourself ragged or just be constantly, constantly going, going, going. That's going to wear you out faster. So get some rest time in between there and that's overall going to start to boost your energy better overall. So that's what I got for you guys for tips for today. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Again, put a comment down below. I do check the comments. Um, if you need more resources, I have my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. And then I also have um, my YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Wessie, where you can subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution. And then I do have all of my tinctures here that are available. Um, these ones are for estrogen and progesterone, and these ones are for your adrenals and your metabolism. So let me know if you guys have any other questions. That's what I got for you guys today. Have a great night, and I will see you later.